Hey guys, what it do? It's your boy Supreme Chitty God. We're about to look at a one-sided beatdown between Maharaga and Yuta. Now, Maharaga is amazing. Amazing. Sensational. But a lot of people forget its big, major, massive, ginormous weakness. He actually has two of them. One really, really strong attack that gets rid of it, gets rid of it, right? It has to completely get rid of it. But another thing. Another thing that can also, you know, deter it is a technique that, that's complex and has multiple phases and varieties, right? It took him five spins to figure out Limitless, right? Um, and that's quite a lot of spin. Five spins is a lot. Now, I would say that Utah's technique is even harder to adapt to because his technique is every other technique, okay? So it might even take him like 10 spins to figure out that this motherfucker can just keep changing his technique, okay? Uh, how did Maharaga get defeated by Sukuna? Sukuna hit him with a slash initially, but then all cutting, slashing phenomena were gone immediately. It could still affect him, but it could no longer kill or defeat him. Then he changed to the flame arrow. Boom! Nuked that boy. Gone. Gojo. Hit him with a, with a red. Right? Red wasn't strong enough. I can't remember how he... I think because he was already mildly adapting as Sukuna. The red would have even taken care of him too. But because he was mildly adapting by Sukuna getting hit by red and stuff like that. He ended up being able to tank red. Being able to, 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 be, uh, to nullify blue. But purple still whacked his ass. Boom. Gone. Right? Now, Utah's whole bag is that he just has a bag of techniques. Bro. Like, he, this guy's whole moveset is moves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Utah is Mr. Steal Your Moveset. You know what I'm saying? He, he's Mr. Take Your... Oh, I like that technique. It's mine now type. And the thing is, he does the technique better than almost everybody he takes it from, apart from the goats like Gojo and, and Sukuna. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you just can't outdo those two. They're just not humans. They're just on a whole different tier list, a whole different breed. Maharaga can reach and surpass both uh, Gojo and Sukuna. But guess what? Even though it adapted and had Sukuna and had uh, that other bomb, uh, Mahito, ma, not Mahito, uh, Ajito, Agito. It still got murked by, guess what, Gojo, Solo, Dolo. And he almost murked for goddamn Sukuna too. If it wasn't for some plot convenience, you know what I'm saying? But he, but he, he almost had him too. So after all of that adaptation, Gojo was still cooking that boy. Now obviously Gojo is a different tier list. So we're not going to try to say that, you know, Utah could perform in that scenario whatsoever. Nobody in the history of Jujutsu can perform in that scenario better than Gojo. Zero, right? <laughs> Previous six I used last 1v1, well, 1v2 against a, a way weaker dude than, than Sukuna with a way weaker goddamn um, Maharaga, right? So Maharaga versus Sukuna. Ah, oh, Sukuna. No, for, versus Utah. Utah has too many variables in his technique. He, he You know, current Utah, of course. Uh, we, you know, Shibuya Utah is hired because we don't know what techniques he has. But I still think that win, he wins too because of Love Beam, uh, Curse Speech, Stop, Love Beam, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um... Now, he, that's only if he knows what Maharaga does. But I think current Utah, even if he doesn't know what Maharaga does, would figure it out and, and, and be able to deal with him because he has cleave, he has dismantle, his uh, domain expansion is broken. Every sword is a completely different technique. So Maharaga wouldn't even know what's hitting him. Uh, Cross speech would smack him. And obviously, uh, Rika can keep it busy for a while considering how much stronger uh, Rika has gotten as we've seen her perform well against even Sukuna. Utah, mass. Skirkers this boy. What do you think? I'm out.